This video is presented by Cleaner Dental Consultants. The sole purpose of this video is to help educate dry cleaners. Using Warren treatment has a purpose. The purpose is to counteract the chemical reactions that take place when water and carbon steel are combined. Within the dry cleaning industry, boilers seem to be a subject given little consideration. The only requirement is to produce steam. A boiler is a complicated device. It has well-defined problems that result from the steam making process. Yet we dry cleaners fail to recognize these problems and seem to redefine what should be essential as being optional. To chemically treat or not chemically treat is one of these problems. Why treat a boiler? The problem starts with the water. Water is considered the universal solvent. Water is called this because of its ability to dissolve or disassociate most compounds. It can do this because of its polarity. This allows water to disassociate and break apart ionic compounds. It makes no difference how good your water is. It makes no difference how soft your water is. If you're going to put water into a vessel constructed with carbon steel, you have some chemical events that are going to take place that the condition of the water has nothing to do with. It's all about water. Water is like an ionic sponge. Water attracts and absorbs gases and solids in ionic form. Water can be deceptive, appearing crystal clear, yet containing large amounts of gas and mineral ions. Water is like a chemical magnet. When the temperature increases, water becomes aggressive. This results in greater chemical reactions at accelerated rates. At temperatures close to boiling, water releases gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. As water vaporizes, ions of solids like calcium are left behind, forming visible solids as the concentrations increase. Inside the boiler, released oxygen triggers an increase to the corrosion process already taking place once water and steel meet. Uncontrolled, the oxygen will help corrosion invade the complete steam system. The effects within the steam system are devastating. The oxygen creates pitting sites that eventually penetrate the thick walls of the steel vessel. At the same time, the concentration of solids is increasing, resulting in a foaming action in the water. That creates havoc in the operation of the boiler and steam system. In areas of intense heat, these solids bond to the metal surfaces creating layers of scale that continue to build. The aggressive nature of the water is increased with the rise of temperature. The pH of the water becomes acidic due to the different chemical reactions. The water has now left three challenges. First, the oxygen released into the steam system. Second, the growing concentration of calcium ions. And lastly, the dangerous lowering of the pH leaving the acidic state of the water. This is why a boiler requires chemical treatment. What is a chemical program? In order to address the three challenges, requires three different chemicals. Controlling oxygen requires an oxygen scavenger. Sodium sulfide is an inexpensive chemical that reacts with oxygen to create sodium sulfate. This is the most common oxygen scavenger used in the dry cleaning industry. 
Raising the pH is accomplished with sodium hydroxide. The goal is keeping the pH around 10. This highly alkaline environment allows water and steel to exist together without corrosion. The calcium ions are controlled by using a phosphate conditioner. These are often called sludge conditioners. When introduced to the boiler, they create a sludge that is removed in the blowdown process. Phosphates also buffer the water, minimizing any pH fluctuation, and they enhance the formation of a protective layer on the steel surfaces of the interior of the boiler. These three chemicals comprise the chemical program for protecting the boiler. However, the steam system after leaving the boiler has problems due to the chemical reactions experienced as the steam cools and condenses back to water. These problems are treated with a steam line treatment made up of a neutralizing amine and a film amine. The final subject is the cost of the chemical program. The chemicals are available in gallon containers with 5 gallon bales being the most economical. Allowing the natural chemical reaction can be much more expensive. An untreated boiler can waste enough energy in one month to provide chemical treatment for a year. The cost of chemical treatment is well documented in industrial applications. This example shows the chemical treatment program was less than 1%. Chemically treating your boiler is nothing more than protecting the interior of your boiler from the harsh effects of water. Are you using the correct chemicals? How do you add your chemicals? Need help or have questions? Contact Cleaner's Mentor and let us help you improve your board.